Hey guys and girls, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be running through my drifter drawers. Now, I've had my drifter drawers for just on two years now, and they've served me fairly well. There's been a few little hiccups with them. Now, I'm gonna do a review on the drifter drawers and what I've found good and bad about them, and would I buy them again? We'll soon find out. Let's get stuck in. Let's have a look at the fridge slide. Easy to use. To press the black button here, and that releases the safety catch. Push down on these, and then it slides. In and out, works beautifully. Only thing is it does get a bit of um, grit and grime in here, so you do gotta use it, give a bit of an oil every now and again, but it's been fantastic. So the fridge slide, no issue at all for me. Happy days, rock solid too. So, let's have a look at that drawer, eh? Here we go, we're at the drawer itself. Now, I got these tie down points that I added to the top of the oh, you drifter drawer set here. I have storage boxes which I put in there, and uh, that's for when I do all my outback travel and all the rest of it. Thinking back, maybe I should have got a double draw system. My fault, my bad. Now, let's look at the table. Now, as the table comes, comes out, folds out, works a treat. Only problem is, I've never used this as a table. It was a bit of a waste of money for me. Maybe I should have got the double draw, as I said, and deleted the table. Too late now, you learn the live of your mistakes. Now, it's great as a workbench, not as a table for me. Thinking about it, maybe Drifter could, should or maybe consider rather than putting a table in here, just give it an extra option and just have it as a slide out type bench rather than a table. So I can fit in like that for people like myself who wouldn't use this as a table. Okay, so that's worked all right. Draw, draw itself, good solid catch. Slides in, in and out just beautifully, even with all my stuff that I've got in here. Now I've got my tool roll and my air hoses and all, all my odds and sods in there. And it slides in and out just beautifully. Only one issue I've had with this particular drawer is that the boot liner or the, the covering, whatever you want to call it, has let go here. Now, it obviously got caught on something in here. My bad. But in saying that, Drifter have only glued these. Maybe they should consider putting staples across here. So people like me who make blues, you know, it would, it, it would solve that problem. I'm going to just whack a staple in there and fix it up myself. But it's been good. The drawers have been fantastic, by the way. Um, fitting them up was dead set, so simple. It was ridiculously easy. It literally took me an hour to pull the old drawers out and five minutes to put the new drawers in. So that's been good. Now, here we go to the big question. Okay, that's the drifter drawers. That's my drifter drawers from a Toyota FJ. Would I buy the drifter drawers again? Uh, probably yes. Only a few things I'd maybe not get with the drifter drawers. And that's the table. The table for me has just been a waste of money. I really haven't used it as a table. As a bench, it's fantastic. As a table, I haven't used it. So maybe drifter could consider of, um, deleting the table or making an optional extra to make a workbench in here for your drifter drawers. Um, as I said, I probably would have got an extra drawer put in here. And um, the only thing that has let me down, I was a little bit disappointed, but I got over it pretty quick, was that bit of carpet lining that's given way inside the drawer itself. Uh, they've just relied on glue. I think maybe they should have relied on some staples as well, upholstery staples in there. Probably wouldn't have hurt and it may not have happened. Probably my fault, to be quite honest. I can't blame them. Who knows? If you've had the same problem with your drifter drawers, maybe they should uh, be let know by their customers, which is us. Okay, guys, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.